Hey students, how are you? So today we are going to talk about ionic bonds in which we will learn about four terms which are ionic bond, formation of ionic bond, cation formation and anion formation. So firstly let's talk about ionic bond. So an ionic bond is a chemical bond formed when an atom give up one or more electrons to another atom. And ionic bonds are also known as electrostatic bonds or electrovalent bonds. Okay? So this concept of ionic bond was proposed by a German biochemist named Albrecht Cosell. And this concept is based on some facts. So now let's see what facts are given by him. So the fact number one is ionic bond is formed between atoms of two dissimilar elements due to transfer of electrons from the atom of one element to the other. Means if any ionic bond is forming then it will form between two elements which are different from each other and by forming an ionic bond they will transfer or share their electrons to each other. Okay? So now the second fact is there are highly reactive metals like alkali metals and highly reactive non-metals like halogens on the left side and right side of the periodic table respectively. Means the highly reactive metals such as lithium, sodium, potassium, rubidium, etc. which are called alkali metals are situated on the left side of the periodic table. And the highly reactive non-metals such as fluorine, chlorine, bromine, etc. which are called halogens and situated on the right side of the periodic table. So now the third fact is noble gases except helium have 8 electrons in the valence shell of their atoms. They are chemically inactive and stable. Means all the noble gases have 8 electrons in their valence shell. Except this one noble gas which is helium. Yes, helium has only two electrons in its valence shell. And this is because its maximum capacity of holding electrons is two electrons only. So it can neither lose electrons nor gain electrons. So it is chemically inactive and stable also. Okay, so now the fact number 4 is to attain 8 electrons in the outermost shell similar to noble gases metal atoms that have 1, 2 or 3 electrons in the valence shell generally lose electrons and form a stable positive ion called cations. Means the metal atoms which has 1, 2 or 3 electrons in their outermost shell wants to attain 8 electrons in their outermost shell for being stable. So for doing this, those type of atoms generally loses the outermost shell electrons to form a stable positive ion. And these are called cations. And also here are some simple examples of this. You can see this and understand it more clearly. Okay, so now the fifth and last fact is to attain 8 electrons in the outermost shell, non-metal atoms that have 5, 6 or 7 valence electrons gain 3, 2 or 1 electron respectively and form negative ions known as anions. Means in the previous fact it was losing the electrons for getting stable, right? But in this one it is gaining 3, 2 or 1 electrons if the non-metal atom's outermost shell has 5, 6 or 7 valence electrons in it. And here are some examples of this also. So in the example you can see here that this chlorine has 7 valence electrons in its outermost shell. So it needs total 8 electrons for being stable. So after gaining this one electron from an other non-metal atom, it completes its octet and become a stable negative ion called anion. Okay, so now let's move to the second term of this topic which is formation of ionic bond. So simply the positive ion which are also called cations and the negative ions which are called anions are formed due to the transfer of electrons from the metal atoms to the non-metal atoms and they get attached by the electrostatic force applied between them by them because of their opposite charges. Okay, so now let's see that how these cations and anions are formed. So here are the examples of cation which are 
एन ए प्लस जेड एन प्लस ए एल प्लस ई टी सी मीन्स दोज एटम्स विच आर पॉजिटिवली चार्ज आर कॉल्ड कैटायंस एंड इफ वी सी द एग्जाम्पल्स ऑफ एन आयंस देन इट इंक्लूड्स ऑल नेगेटिवली चार्ज आयंस लाइक सी एल माइनस एफ माइनस ई टी सी राइट बट नाउ द क्वेश्चन इज हाउ दीज कैटायंस एंड एन आयंस आर फॉर्म्ड सो फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल वी हैव टू रिमेंबर वन थिंग अबाउट मेटल्स एंड नॉन मेटल्स दैट द मेटल्स हैव द टेंडेंसी टू लूज द इलेक्ट्रॉन्स एंड नॉन मेटल हैव द टेंडेंसी टू रिसीव द इलेक्ट्रॉन्स एंड दिस इज बिकॉज मेटल्स जनरली हैव वन टू और थ्री इलेक्ट्रॉन्स ओनली इन देयर आउटर मोस्ट ऑर्बिटल्स एंड नॉन मेटल्स जनरली हैव फाइव टू सेवन इलेक्ट्रॉन्स इन देयर आउटर मोस्ट ऑर्बिटल्स ओके सो नाउ लेट्स अंडरस्टैंड दिस ऑल्सो फ्रॉम एन एग्जाम्पल सो द एटॉमिक नंबर ऑफ सोडियम इज इलेवन सो इट्स इलेक्ट्रॉनिक कॉन्फिग्रेशन विल बी टू एट एंड वन सो फॉर बींग स्टेबल इट हैज टू ऑप्शन फर्स्ट इट विल रिसीव सेवन इलेक्ट्रॉन्स फ्रॉम एन अदर एटम एंड सेकेंड इट विल डोनेट वन इलेक्ट्रॉन टू द अदर एटम सो सिंपली इट विल चूज टू डोनेट वन इलेक्ट्रॉन टू द अदर एटम बिकॉज इट इज मोर डिफिकल्ट टू रिसीव सेवन इलेक्ट्रॉन्स दैन डोनेटिंग वन इलेक्ट्रॉन सो डैट्स वाई सिंपली इट विल डोनेट राइट Now after donating the number of electrons remained in it will be 10 but the number of protons present in it will be remained same which was before so because the number of protons remained more than the number of electrons in it that's why a positive sign got added to it and it became a cation and similarly if we talk about anions then they include mostly the non metals and as i said that non metals have 5 to 7 valence electrons in their outermost shell so it easily receives the electrons and gains the minus sign for being an anion got it okay